Director's Reflections for January 29th of 2023. We almost got killed. Novi's reporters like to show early on that they have the claws to find and cover the news, no matter the level of risk they are exposed to. I say this for myself and for other colleagues who without having reached the age of 20, were always in the scenes of tension or danger fighting for the best coverage. When I started journalism back in 1968, one of the hottest centers of revolutionary student resistance to President Balaguer's regime was the Autonomous University of Santo Domingo, UAS. Many times I covered the violent confrontations between the police and the university students after the marches and protests of the secondary school in demand of the change of structures, that is to say, of the government regime. In those years, the UAS mounted its first major teacher and student offensive to demand that an annual budget of 500,000 pesos be approved, known as the half million demand. Listin Diario in different editorials expressed its objection to the lawsuit and the demonstration of force that accompanied. With this position, he earned the repudiation and his then director, Rafael Herrera, the harshest invective from the student community. In view of this climate of frontal rejection, the director ordered that none of the reporters enter the university at times of tensions or protests, that, that all the coverage was done from outside. Since I felt very welcome among the different student groups because I often collected their concerns and published them, I believed myself immune to any possible excess. So, in violation of the principal's order, which I admit was a foolish and unnecessary risk, I had the newspaper vehicle pull into a real demonstration on campus. When the mass identified us, it swirled around the Land Rover Jeep in which we were riding, shaking it from one side to the other while shooting quickly for a gallon of gasoline was heard. And when we were about to collapse, we heard the energetic voice of Atoy de Camps. The student leader cautiously made his way through the crowd ordering the excesses to stop. When we were able to get out of the vehicle, Atoy Herringit the reuters with a strong expressions against the aggression perpetrated and instead asked for a large round of applause for us. These comrades are not to blame for anything, and furthermore, they are our friends. Years later, I thank him for keeping us from being lynched. But the experience made me understand that reporting has its limits and that our personal courage should not go further than in reasonable, although for young journalists, the encounter with danger is always a very exciting challenge. For Listin Diario, voice over and translations by Indira Rodriguez.